Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 3 of Twin Star Actresses. Okay, so before we get started, so, you know, as of last week, um, when I had the problem of, you know, getting the first two episodes, or really the whole entire series, um, with the dual audio, so, update on that, I was looking for episodes 3 and 4 separately, um, I ended up, luckily, finding 3 somewhere thank god um but four plus going on certain science and this and trying not to get a virus on my computer um four was a little harder so just for this week i'm going to have just episode three and then next week we will have four and five um because your girl also found and i, I can't believe I, I, I honestly in my opinion i should have did this first when getting to the first episodes normally when i go on nyan i always search in the english name of the show and maybe 50 out of 50 i possibly will search in the japanese name for this uh for whatever show that i do but no your girl decided to just look up twin star exorcist and of course you're gonna see nothing but dual audio but thank god around because it is now 11 14 at night um an hour or two ago I, I was like you know what let me try the Japanese version and see if I can get something so I found a file that has it strictly in Japanese with subtitles and everything <laughs> I just wish I had this ish last week um so thank god I mean because it would have been I probably in the end was going to postpone this to next week to see if I could find something because your girl has been literally looking every single freaking day ever since last week and there no matter where I went I couldn't find anything and I was like oh my god like we're getting closer to Friday and I have nothing and I'm like what what can I do and I was like let me just try something and thank god but yeah other than that let's go ahead and get started with uh, wait no one more thing um with this file that I have that I downloaded through Facebook <laughs> um it has the tv tokyo logo first before the episode starts i don't know if the ones that i got on yan will also be like that as well so i just want to go ahead and tell you that now but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode three and three two one go okay just like ugh so freaking stressful just try trying to find this freaking show like you still have to feel bad for Rokuru because I mean him and Benio they met in the most awkward moment and, and then you know for them to battle each other like that like that's fucked up Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, you two! <sighs> well, they do say opposites do attract, so... But technically, you have to, Rogo. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, wait, Benny, they're, they're not saying that you have to. I mean, you could still kick ass and, you know, multitask, like. So wait, so from what my Patreon said, so you're telling me that Rokuro's VA is Tanjiro's VA from Demon Slayer, and then I don't remember who voices the girl. Because Benny's voice does sound familiar. I think Benny's gonna need help, but you know, okay. Depends. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I mean, it's ugh. once again, opposites do attract. They usually. Not all the time, but usually. Uh, it, it just works. And I think it's going to work for these two in the end. I mean, hell, I'm still laughing about myself last week where I thought these two were fucking siblings. Not like that, but maybe even cousins. But thank God, because I was just like, are we really going that route? Because, um, you know, your girl will never forget the time when... Way, 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 way before I did anime reactions and I was still watching anime on my own. And I watched um, a little anime, you know, called My Little Sister Isn't This Cute or some shit. But that's what it's called, I believe. It's been a while since. And I was like, no, 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 no. They're not literally going to do this. <laughs> and then I finished season two and I was like. Are you serious? And yeah. <laughs> but of course, yes, in episode three, I, I feel like Benny is going to be a complete and total bitch to Elku because, of course, I just, the biggest thing that I want for her is to learn to work together with someone else, one, and not to be a bitch all the time. Ain't that funny. Because it's destiny. Watch she sits beside That's so creepy. I'm getting like, not only not, I'm, I'm about to say Nagito. Wrong show, Deja. <laughs> not even show, wrong character. Um, As I said last week, Noragami, I'm kind of getting Madoka vibes, but except they're not magical girls. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> I 
At least you tried. And of course she's fucking good at sports. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks like best girl Chi with her hair up a pretty girl. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's basically no go. But they do go. I can't speak. They do look good together. But she's not here. She could be on the roof. Mm -hmm. Do you really have to eat by yourself, Benny? Like, seriously, you three thought you were going to handle that? I mean, you did as much as you could, but, you know, hey. Exactly. I know that you want them to still be a student, but come on now. Oh my god, stop being so hard headed. What if the one of you gets killed? Family emergency. Hmm? Yes. I know, but... See right now, even though currently I'm only three episodes in, the context, it gives a little much, but not as much as like episode one and episode two did. There has to be like an episode where we're going to get like more backstory on Roku's situation. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 
she's so fucking cute. I mean, see, now you're going to make me shift them, too, even though he sees her as a freaking sister, cousin-ish. <laughs> oh god Well, in a way, I mean, she's kind of setting up someone, too. She is a prodigy. <laughs> but because of the fact that she's also a prodigy, she's missed out on so much in her life, in my opinion. Do we call this a date? This was a date, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, just wonder. Uh, this is the second time we know we can't fuck. Hopefully. God damn. I mean, you know, I like the way she fights, but at the same time, 
I, I just I pray that she, you know, gets the interactions that she needs. That too. But she needs, you know, certain friends, basically. Like, something tells me, like, her and Maya are going to be, like, the best of friends by the end of this. Oh. Come on, it'll be okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, jump. Oh, come on. Come on. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> You're so cute! Oh my god! Kind of, but yes. <laughs> She's so similar to Hanekala that it's not even funny. How she might be best girl for me. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. And I thought I was bad when I argue with people. You know, I, I'm like... Hell, even my friends. One of my friends won't argue with me. I still don't trust him. Something about him, especially with the way he was introduced last week, he's just. Ugh, those weird feelings that I have. Sir, why do you look like Neku? He... Y'all see that, right? He look... I mean, I ain't mad about that, because, you know, I... Because... <laughs> everybody should... Everybody probably knows. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, yeah, I have, like, the biggest crush on Neku. Um... <laughs> this was a really interesting episode for what, for what it was, especially with the fact that you get to see 
Benny on her own, doing her own thing, because of the fact is, yes, Benny as a prodigy, she's done things always on her own since day one. Even though, like, going into episode one and episode two, specifically episode one, where Benny fought the demon by herself and Rokuto was watching until, you know, he finally wanted to do something, of course, because he was frightened and like that. Um, she still doesn't know that there is no I in team, that you can't always do it by yourself. Because, of course, you know, she... I don't want to say she's held on a pedestal, but it seems like that. Uh, I mean, once again, prodigy. She has a lot more to lose than gain. I can't say the same for Rokuto. Rokuto, I, I think if we get a little more on his backstory with the next few episodes, or something's going to tell me from episode 25 to the end of the series, that's what I'm going to get a lot of things, especially the night of the fire and everything don't know but that would make the most sense but I don't know I, I mean it's just something about these two together it, it works and of course like I said once again opposites do attract but looking at um Mayra, like, she's a sweet, adorable type, you know, the, of course, the best friend who secretly is in love with her best friend, and in the end, the best friend, girl or boy, doesn't get with the main character, and you can see, like, instantly when I saw her last week for episodes one and two, I was like, okay, yeah, y'all look cute together, but something tells me you two are not going to end up together by the end of this series. And I'm still guessing that now because even though right now we know that both Benny and Mokoto have to get married and have a baby, right now we're at the, not a lover's quarrel, we're at a situation where it's like, right now I hate you. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to see you. And it's like that. And they're trying to basically tell each other like this relationship between us, this teamwork, um, us working as a team and everything, it's not going to work. But slowly but surely in them becoming one as a team, eventually they're going to find their love for each other. There's going to be, even though we're only three episodes in as of today, um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of heartwarming moments between these two where they can reconcile with each other and be there for each other as their biggest cheerleaders, the people that they want to talk to when they need um, someone to talk to who's kind of really going this uh, in the same way or the feelings that they have currently right now, whether it's sadness, remorse, um, anger, hatred, whatever, for them to confide in each other because they're the only two that are these twin star exorcists, they're going to have to confide into each other. Like I said, right now, it's just a big old, like, you know, fuck you, I hate you right now. But I, I think, you know, if I could give a guess by the time where they're going to tolerate each other, episode 12, maybe, where they're going to see eye to eye. I mean, you know, I thought, like, mm, no, I'm going to take that back. Not even, mm, kind of kind of episode one because I was like mm, yeah it was like they're not really arguing arguing we haven't really seen them go in depth to an argument almost like Ash and Misty from Pokemon or um Usagi and Reeve from Sailor Moon or um I can't think of anybody who would almost fight like or argue so much in almost every single episode uh, no, I, I got one. <laughs> um, freaking. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, Tanjiro Zanetsu and, um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is her name? Oh my god. Diesel. Fuck it. Nope, we're like... <laughs> oh, the freak. Did I forget his name? Oh my god, 
god, I'm so stupid right now. Um, what's this say? Best book, Kirito. There we go. You know, I can still look it up, but Kirito, yes, that's who we're talking about, yes. I should, I, I know, how the freak do I remember two people? And oh, not freaking, what is the fuck? Mm -hmm. Inosuke, there we go. Having those three. Really, yeah, more of like Inosuke and Zenitsu. They argued, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think it, it's going to work for them. I don't know. Y'all know. But I got to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode three of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next <clears throat> next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes four and five. Bye, guys.